Okay, so I am at Aeron, which is actually the most expensive grocery store in the world. But we're gonna see, we're gonna take a look at all the prices, we're gonna try some stuff, and of course we're gonna try the iconic smoothies. I have my basket, we're ready to shop. I'm gonna go for this one. $16! I'm gonna try to spend under $100 today. Oh my gosh, the pet section. I wanna get something from Mochi, but we're not gonna count it in our budget. Our dogs are our family, and we want them to live long, healthy, happy lives by ourselves. Yes. Okay, so they also have sushi. It actually looks pretty good here. Maybe I take that back, because this roll is $18.99. Don't tell me they're selling white rice for $7.15. What? Okay, I've heard so much about this. $15.75. $24.68. That's not fair, because they're weighing the sauce. These scammers. This is the raw cinnamon roll I've heard so much about. It is $9.50. I can buy a whole cinnamon roll and a half. The pie the looks pie really good. So but one slice is like the price of a whole pie, so $10.75. So we're about to get smoothies. We're gonna get the Haley Bieber, and then we're gonna try the berries and cream smoothie. Tiana, T-I-A-N-A. Okay, $31. I'm trying to guess how much I spent so far, and I feel like I might be at like $150. I'm gonna try to spend under $100 today. What's the damage? Good, how are you? All right. Let's go try these smoothies. So this is the famous Hailey Bieber strawberry smoothie. There's something about it being good for your skin or glowing, I don't know. I'm nervous, because this is $20. Oh, it's thick. Oh, it's good. Oh, I like it. It might be worth $20. What? Okay, no, it's not worth $20, but it's really good, so I'm not mad that I spent 20 to try it. Obviously, it's not something I could get every day, but I like it. It actually feels like my skin is glowing. <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. It feels like I'm eating like a melted ice, strawberry ice cream popsicle. Happy, actually. Okay, we are back, and this is the official Erwan haul. So I have guacamole for $12.55 and organic corn tortilla chips for $5.94. How do I open this? Oh, oh, that was so cool. Okay, basically I just pinched this and then it opened. So let's start with the guac and chips. The chips look really good. They also look really oily, but let's try it without the guac first. Hmm, I like it. They're actually thicker, so it's probably really good for dipping. It is a little bit on the oily side, though. Mmm, the guac is really good. It's very lemony, which I personally like. They have onions, lemon juice, garlic. The garlic is a really nice touch. Black pepper, tomato, and salt. It's a really well-balanced guac. I like it a lot. Next, I have this raw cinnamon roll for $9.50. So this raw cinnamon roll, is so popular, it's literally at the front of the store. And you're supposed to be able to eat it raw and you can heat it up and eat it. It's giving like how you can eat cookie dough. It's interesting like, cause part of it feels like it's cooked, but... Mm, this would definitely not be my choice of dessert. Is it supposed to be healthy or something? <laughs> There's cinnamon flavor and it is raw. They didn't lie, do I love it? No. I feel like I'm gonna try heating it up and seeing if it tastes better that way. Definitely better, but I would rather just indulge in an actual cinnamon roll if I'm gonna eat this. Not worth it. This is the lavender lemonade for $9. I'm so curious, it's such a pretty color. I just hope that it's like actually good, you know? No, it's bad. It's just really watered down. All the flavors are like just hints. Yeah, this this is a no for me. I got the vegan tomato Thai basil bisque. This is $16 for 30 ounces. I warmed up some soup. This is the consistency. So it actually looks quite watery, but I've heard good things, so I hope that there is good flavor. No, it's watery. <laughs> I don't like it. It tastes like there's like celery, 
and carrots and basil with like a hint of tomato. Man, I'm gonna drink it because it was $16, but I wouldn't suggest this. This is the grass-fed Korean short ribs, $40 per pound. I got just a little less than half a pound, so it was $16.60. What I can smell is the sugar and the garlic, and it looks like they have chili paste, green onions, ginger, sesame oil. I think this is good. Mmm, surprisingly good. And apparently the beef is grass-fed which I guess is a good thing. <laughs> it's cut up already into small pieces and it's very easy to bite. I like this one. Mmm. The goal is to be able to make more money so I can just shop here regularly, honestly. This is the kale white bean avocado salad. It was $15.75. It is like very saucy. Kale is such like a thick, tough vegetable. So you do need a lot of sauce. Oh, I like it. It's like a little bit sweet. There's mustard and maple syrup, sea salt and pepper. I actually think it's a really good mix. I actually like everything that's in here, so I'm pretty happy. So this is the turkey meatballs with sauce for $24.68. There's six meatballs here. I heated just one up. They're quite large. If I had like one last finger, it would probably be the same size. Okay, cutting it open in half, so you can see the texture of the meat. Mmm. This is pretty good actually. A lot of the time turkey meat is on the dry side. And this is not. This is actually pretty juicy. It's pretty good. It feels like a very clean source of protein. This might be one of the most underwhelming items, but who knows? This is the chicken Caesar wrap. It does look very stuffed. It's also a like green wrap. So it might be like a spinach wrap. The idea of it being green just makes it feel healthier. <laughs> it is like slightly on the dry side. So let's give it a little dip. It's all right. It's all right. I wouldn't get it again. They didn't do anything special to it. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> Man, we started off so strong. It did kind of go downhill there, but anyways, that is the end of this video. I went to Erewhon, so you don't have to, or if you do go, you can avoid the items that I didn't like or try it for yourself. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if the feature is out, please hype this video. It would really help me out a lot. Let me know which food item you think looked best, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.